quivering. Trust Kleenex, Canada's softest tissue brand, to be strong enough to keep you in the moment. Kleenex, grab every moment. She told him that she was on the lease, but didn't have any paperwork to back it up. The police showed up, knocked on the door. They had their guns out. I thought I was going to be shot. <laughs> In the end, they both got out of handcuffs. When my mom calls the police, I think she feels like it's going to push me and Eric apart. But in reality, it just brings us closer together. Well, Courtney's daughter, Brooklyn, says that she and her boyfriend are in love. And they even talked about marriage and her becoming a stepmother to his two children. In fact, she says they've even talked about having children of their own. Take a look. I miss you. <laughs> I said, I miss you too. I wish you were here. He said, I know. Me too. Eric and I's relationship is perfect. Definitely fantastic. <laughs> Eric calls me his baby girl. Tells me that he loves me all the time. Eric is kind of trash and for him to date openly in public is ridiculous. We're very loving, caring, affectionate towards each other. I don't Eric know where my my daughter, but yes, I feel he's very my disrespectful daughter. to his wife. Eric buys me clothes, food, we go out and hang out together. Eric has gotten me my iPhone. He bought me my case. He has also gotten me this designer purse. He does a lot for me. Eric spends money on my daughter that he hides from his wife, Mandy. He does spoil me, hardcore. Eric got a bonus check from work and told his wife, Mandy, he lost it and spent it on my daughter. Eric has a secret room in his house behind a bookshelf that Brooklyn was staying in. Eric does call that his main cave. Eric was sneaking me in through his window every day because I didn't have anywhere else to go. Eric's kids do you know about me. And they come up and they'll like hug me and give me kisses and like it's really cute. They call me Star. It's kind of like a code name so Mandy won't know that they're talking about me. 
Brooklyn has actually told me that Mandy's so stupid and she doesn't know what's going on. Eric and I have talked about marriage one day, like way future. <laughs> I think Eric will eventually leave Mandy. I'm hoping that Dr. Phil just tells my mom to butt out. I like that Dr. Phil is really straightforward and he just tells it how it is. Show for like ever, Dr. Phil. I appreciate that. <laughs> you say Eric loves you, right? Yes, sir. Because you say you don't really have a place to stay and you're just floating around and he's separated from his wife. So why aren't you living with him? Because he's trying to pay off his charges that he got back in February. What kind of charges? It was um, unauthorized use of vehicle to a minor and contributing to a minor. And who's the minor? Me. I was the minor. He's got a DWI, right? Yes, he got that last year before I ever knew him. So he was drunk driving? Um, no, he wasn't driving his car. He had just gotten on his motorcycle, and that's when the police showed up. Okay. So he was driving drunk while sitting on a motorcycle? Well, he had just started driving the motorcycle. Okay. He said he wasn't even down to the stop sign yet, and I know exactly where he was at. Okay, so he was driving. Yeah, it's just not far, yeah. Okay. okay. So he should have had a DWIS, <laughs> driving while intoxicated, sort of. <laughs> just a short distance. If you had been there with him, would you have gotten on a motorcycle with him to go home? Uh, no. Okay. Not if somebody's drinking. I'm already, like... Nervous to So you do have some boundaries. Yes, sir, I do. I do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I do. So you can't live with him because he doesn't have the money to get a place because he's paying off legal charges. For... And not only that, he can't sign for an apartment either because he's had charges within the past two years. Right. So where's he living? He's staying at his house that he owns with Mandy. Oh, so he's with his wife. Not with her, but yeah, like, no. It's kind of like, kind of like he wasn't driving, but he was. No, like. Or he's not with his wife, but he a, isn't. It's a big house. Like, he stays on one side, she stays on the other. They don't really even talk unless it's about the kids. Now, you told his wife that, by the way, my daughter's sleeping with your husband. I did. How'd that go over? Um, she was very appreciative. She is here. this conversation after the break. When I first met Brooklyn, I thought she was a sweet young girl, but I found out my husband Eric was cheating with Brooklyn. When I confronted Eric, he just kept denying it. I know who the liar is. And later, has your husband ever told you that he wants a divorce? No. He wants to have the best of uh, both worlds. He wants his little fling, which that's what you are. You are a fling. When the going gets tough. What? No, you can't tell me like that. You don't have your problem. Well, that's a relief. When life throws you a curve, he lost their entire million-dollar retirement fund, mostly on women. Women he met online, but never in person. Sophie is mute. She was in an auto accident. April and I are engaged. This lady is Jane. You and her daughter are now being held in captivity. It's kind of like a soap opera, really. One show. Warren thinks he's a cyborg from the year 2050. Has it all. You say you don't want to tie yourself up with a job because if you have a job, you can't spread your message. Correct. Our job is spreading the message. I have a job and spread my message. I mean, it works for me. Unpredictable stories. Not only is she going to inherit her mother's overcrowded and messy mansion. We're going up to the champagne room. If you can ride, why walk? But it comes with a price. An older sister lives in the basement. It's not my responsibility to take care of Lori. Lori has been bullied in school. But she's 58. Unbelievable outcomes. Hundreds of couples targeted by an imposter in a fake adoption scandal. Gabby told us that she was 15, she was pregnant with twin girls. She hurt so many families. 
It's now time to finally meet Gabby. You led them to believe that you had a baby. I'm done. It's Dr. Phil.